Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Build, and today we're going to be building battleships. That's right. Now, I flew far and wide, and beyond this arid desert wasteland, I found a vast ocean that is the perfect place for a PvP battleship showdown. Now, I wanted to do a more technical Let's Build because it's been a long time since I built the oil refinery, so using the Yogscast Complete Pack, I began to build a battleship. Now, that's not really true. This isn't really a battleship, it's more of a destroyer, because a battleship is more of an old kind of ship that relies on big guns. But a destroyer is a kind of smaller, sleeker ship that uses missiles. And inside the vault system, or rather inside the ICBM mod pack that we have in the Yogscast Complete Pack, there are a lot of cool bombs and missiles that I want to make use of in a PvP map. So I've started to build this cool destroyer. Now the first thing I wanted to do was build out the shape, and for this, I'm using either steel or iron blocks. Because I wanted that rustic kind of warfare chrome feel, that, that kind of matte iron look for my battleship. So I built up some straight lines for the chassis, or like the hull, of the destroyer. But to keep it to keep it looking rounded and, and more boatly shaped, I trimmed off the edges you can see here, and made kind of like upside down stair type patterns. I zigzagged with the blocks because it makes it look a lot rounder and a lot more even and a lot more realistic in terms of like how a ship should look. And of course with the front of a destroyer, the kind of the front, I think it's the bow? It's the bow, the stern, port, aft, I don't know the, the naval terms for, for the sides of the ship, but the front of the ship always kind of climbs a bit and it leans up a bit, it's got a bit of a, bit of a ramp. And you can see one side I've evened it out, but on this side I've still kept it flat and you can see it looks much worse on the flat side. So what we want to do is we want to come around to that side and again repeat what we've done around the other side. Now it's always harder to repeat what you've done because you constantly have to go back and check to make sure that the symmetry is correct because a boat, if you cut it down the middle, the hull should be identical on either side. So symmetry is very important. So you see me going backwards and forwards here from the other side to this side to make sure that both sides are symmetrical. And I'm slowly building my way towards the front of the ship, evening up the sides and making it look a lot rounder and more ship-like. Now it was so exciting to do this build, I kept, kept things kept running through my mind about what kind of what kind of systems I was going to put in place for the PvP of this, because I want to be able to fire missiles from one ship to the other. But the truth is, if both ships are firing missiles, after about two minutes, there's going to be no ships left. And I want this to be a team-style map. So what I want to have is maybe some people inside the ship that have to build the missiles and get them to a guy that's launching the missiles and then a guy in a control tower who's mapping out where the missiles should go and defending against missiles that come towards your ship. Now when you look at a, when you look at a large ship like a destroyer or a battleship, the, the part that you can see above water is only a very small part. So I made sure I went underneath the ship and added a few blocks down there because the ships actually go a lot deeper than the surface of the water to keep themselves buoyant. Now I wasn't sure what colour to do the deck. I tried some steel tank blocks but instead I came back and used stone slabs. Now I know stone isn't the kind of thing that you'd see on a destroyer but the colour and texture really worked so I went with it. Now the way I'm able to do this so quickly in the Yogscast Complete Pack is I'm using the Builder's Wand tool. It's a very very useful tool and in some ways it's a lot more useful than some mods like World Edit because it lets you really quickly just repeat a pattern and put down some walls very, very quickly. Now again, like I said, the front of the ship kind of leans up. So after you've got that leaning ramp thing, I came back and I've used iron walls here around the edge to give our ship a bit of a border. So that seamen that are on the side and are looking out and they're maybe barfing because they're seasick, unlucky pal, they don't fall off because there is a there is a railing, there is a guard that means they won't fall off. Good stuff. So how are we building the structure of the boat? We've built the hull, but it's very important to build the stuff on top of deck as well. So I want a kind of a section at the back to launch missiles from. So what you see me here is designing the missile platform, and this isn't going to be too high. But then just in front of that, around the middle of the ship, we're going to have the control tower. And this is where the captain of the vessel will sit in his little kind of crow's nest place with windows all around so he can survey the battlefield and all of the technical consoles at his command right in front of him. 
So if he needs to dispatch an order, take out that ship, send a missile, defend against this missile. He can do it really quickly and has access to the important controls and consoles that he needs to get to in a hurry. Now again, I'm using iron stairs. There's a whole bunch of bricks and textures and items and, and ways to decorate in the Yogscast Complete Pack that just aren't available in vanilla. So it's really exciting to put those to good use. And one of the big ones that I was using was the Carpenter's Blocks Slopes. Now you don't see me using those yet because what I tried were these magnesium blocks because I like the contrast of a lighter metal on top of this dark kind of steel that we've built the hull out of. But it was something I changed. I came back and you can see me here putting down these carpenter slopes because what they do is they help round off the very square structures that you find in Minecraft. And I'm using these wherever possible to make sure my battleship feels a lot more rounded and smooth. I haven't used them on the hull because they are quite lag intensive. But you see me here decorating the sides of the walls on top of the ship with those carpenter's blocks and seeing how it looks. Now it's time to come to the missile platform and like I said, I wasn't a fan of these magnesium blocks, but for the time being, I used them just to get the structure in place. And the back of a destroyer has a kind of like shark fin shape. And what I'm gonna use this for is like an access tunnel and a bridge over to the main bridge, the control tower, and a way to access the floors underneath and inside the hull of the ship because some of the crew actually live inside the hull and underneath, not on top of deck. But as soon as I realized that I wasn't happy with these magnesium blocks, I switched them out for iron blocks, which are a very kind of lighter shade of steel. They're a lighter shade of gray without that stark kind of white black contrast that you see on the magnesium blocks. And I was much happier with this color and I was really happy that I came back and changed all of these magnesium blocks to the lighter iron blocks. And now it was time to climb up on the control tower. And you'll see on destroyer ships, they have massive masts full of all the communications, aerials and things to help them survey the battlefield. Radars and doodads that make sure they know exactly what's going on around the ocean space near them. So using iron blocks, the carpenter slope blocks, and I've put magnesium blocks in here as well because I do like putting them on the mast. I think that works as like a contrasting feature so the mast stands out. Another thing we're gonna have to look at is the lighting on the ship because I'm not sure how to light it up. I tried using a solar panel there but I didn't quite like the look. I was just testing out things to put on top of the control mast up here. But one of the things I'm thinking about doing is lighting up the ship with lamps that are the color of the ship because if this is going to be a pvp map there's going to be two teams one ship and another ship but how are you going to tell which ship is which well the best way i think is to give them a color scheme and i've decided that this is going to be the blue ship and the other ship is going to be the red ship now you see me designing this is purely aesthetics but you see me designing here the front cannon on the destroyer now i'm using carpenter slope blocks here to produce that kind of diagonal smooth effect that you won't get with stairs, but that's a pretty convincing looking turret in Minecraft. And that's a pretty badass machine gun that will shoot down, I guess, any missiles that come our way. Now I wanted large fuel deposits on the ship because well, a ship needs to run on fuel, right? So I started putting down these tanks that I was gonna fill with fuel, but then I found these drums of fuel that I thought looked much cooler and more realistic because you wouldn't store fuel in tanks on a ship, you put it in drums. And then I came back here to add a chimney because I really, I really liked a block in the Yogscast Complete Pack called the Smoker Block. And what it does is it produces smoke and you'll see it rise up here in a second. But it's a really cool block that just creates this really cool smoke effect. Oh yeah, there you see it going. And a battleship, a destroyer even, is gonna have an engine and it's gonna have an exhaust. And this is a bit of an exaggeration, but I think it definitely looks really cool to see that smoke rising from the back of the ship. Now also I wanted to use some ICBM turrets to perhaps aid you in the defense of your ship. So I've put in these anti-aircraft guns that when activated will shoot down enemy missiles. And again, I'm using these nuclear missile blocks on these tier one launcher pads just as decoration because I think nuclear missiles are a little bit too powerful for our PVP style map. 
Now, one exhaust chimney didn't quite feel like enough. A boat this size and this powerful, it's gonna need a huge engine. And so I put in not one, but two more chimney smokers so that we can fill the air with smog and destruction as we sail the seven seas in our badass destroyer. Now I've been careful to leave a space between the chimneys and the AA guns for us to put in the actual missile launcher systems for players to use when we make this a PvP map. And then a little bit of trimming here and there, and then it was off to the front of the ship to build a platform for a railgun. Now I'm not sure if this will be a functional railgun when we come around to making this map PvP viable, but it looks cool enough and you can never have too many guns, right? And after that it was just a case of adding in blue lamps to make sure everybody knows that when the sun sets and it's night time, this is the blue destroyer and we're about destroying the red destroyer. Now as I was building this I, got just, I just got so excited thinking about all the systems that I was going to put in place. I've got ideas for using the AA guns to shoot down enemy missiles, to shoot missiles at the enemy boats, to use MFS force fields to block missiles that come back in your way. Oh, I really can't wait to get designing this to be a playable PvP map. So hit like and favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time, perhaps when we actually play this as a PvP map. Take care.